Hi, and welcome to my learning page in Symbaloo. This is my page of resources for STEM or STEAM that you can use for yourself to learn how to apply different things in STEM or STEAM and also resources that you can use in your classroom. So there's a variety of different resources available to you. If we start here on the left hand side, a lot of these are going to be screencast and they'll be like little mini PDs that will teach you how to use those different resources. So whatever you would like to try to look at, um, let's say you wanted to find out more about what Zome is, you would just click on this tile and it would take you to a screencast that will walk you through how to use Zome tools. So that holds true for a variety of different resources here. Walks you through what you would need to know about those resources. As we move more over into the right side, there's a little bit more of eclectic type of resources available. This is more about um, finding a collection of websites that are directly connected to the constructivist principle of teaching, or there's resources here that will tell you a little bit more about teaching with technology. I also go in depth about blended learning and a variety of other things. You would just need to click on to explore. Now I also have different resources that will be uh, founded in uh, science and you can use these in your classroom. I put together thematically just a bunch of articles that are about dogs and their genomes and then also there is uh, information regarding questions you can ask your students in relation to the articles. So it's just one idea of how you can use scientific articles in your classroom and it really addresses different aspects of STEAM, including writing. When we move a little bit more to the right, I have a various different amounts of articles here that are more academic and they really talk about the difference between STEM and STEAM and the rationale for all of them. These uh, resources here are going to cover a variety of perspectives with some people arguing for STEAM with the A and some people wanting to leave the A out. Then as we go all the way to the right hand side, these are different kinds of resources that I have found to be very handy in using a dynamic blended classroom. So they are not per se focused on STEM or STEAM, but they are used to support different lessons and um, ideas that you would use in the classroom. So you would use these tools to support where you are going. So that's a kind of general overview of all of my resources here. And really the best way to discover is to just start clicking away.